from historic chateaus to memorial sites. In honor of the centenary of the First World War, hear from three experts in northeastern France about key remembrance sites, where present-day travelers interested in America's role in the Great War can experience the past. Uh, Anne Morgan um, was not only a wealthy person, she was, I think, a very strong uh, character, personality. The Meuse-Argon offensive was a major offensive by the American troops, the American Expeditionary Force during World War I. And it's also their last offensive because it's the one that will lead to the armistice and lead to peace. Half of the soldiers that were killed during that battle are buried here. In fact, it's 28,000 soldiers that were killed and almost 100,000 soldiers wounded in, in that operation. So many, it's, it's hard to comprehend. It's incredible being here. Just looking around, you just cannot see the end. This cemetery here is uh, one of, not the largest, but one of the most uh, known cemetery, World War I cemeteries overseas. We have here 2,289 headstones of, uh, of soldiers, sailors, uh, marines, aviators, who died not only during these battles, but from June 1918 all the way to the end of the war. And in fact, all these men came from all over the, the states and came here in France about uh, 2,000 to 3,000 miles from home uh, to fight for liberty. <laughs>